by fear though, Steve? A blip, probably. We don't have fingers serious. crossed. Fingers crossed, and hopefully everything works out fine. Yeah. Okay, well, good luck for Monday with Thank that. Thank you. Okay, so that's it for tonight. I hope you've enjoyed the live boxing here on ITV2. The big fight returns next month with a real cracker on ITV. It features the Shamrock Express, Shay Neary, with the fifth defense of his world light welterweight title against America's Mike Griffiths. A great night is in prospect, that's for sure, at the National Stadium in Dublin, and the date, very importantly, Saturday the 19th of June. And we've also got some tremendous football coming your way in the next fortnight here on ITV. It certainly doesn't get any better than this. One, two, three, four. We can't wait. I bet you can't. You're going to be watching the football then, boys. Those two great finals on ITV. Should be good. Looking Absolutely. Forward to Look forward to Man United uh, winning the treble this year again. Well, uh, I, think, I think you've nailed your colours <laughs> well, to the mark. I'll, I'll, I'll put my money on it if anybody <laughs> wants to uh, bet against me. Great having you come here tonight. Thank you, Colin. Thank, Thank you, you, Steve. Pete Culshaw is still the flyweight champion, the WBU flyweight champion of the world. From all of us here in Blackpool, thank you for watching. Good night. DCI Dave Cregan, the new series on Sunday nights. There's a thin line between genius and madness. If you put one foot wrong, Dave, don't come back at all. Touching Evil, Sunday at 9 on ITV. Next, the weird and wonderful Jerry Springer Show. Now on 0896 20 20 20. That's 0896 20 20 20. Call Chatterbox now. Life is all about priorities. Magnum from Walls. drink tastes really cool. How would you describe the taste? Come on, what does it taste like? Oh. Mars drink, have you heard how good it tastes?
Join hands with the Love Generation. 67 classic Summer of Love hits. Hot town, summer in the city. All the leaves are brown. Tune in to the definitive Flower Power Collection for groovy CDs of the songs that sparked the love revolution. For a daydream. This collection is only available through this exclusive TV offer. Celebrate the songs that shook the planet with the Love Generation. The awesome sound of yesterday on four CDs for today. To order the Love Generation, call now. Don't wait. Call now and ask for the Love Generation. Four CDs of Flower Power, one super cool collection. Call now. Um, we should go right for now. Yeah, we can turn off the next one. What, we're still going round? Oh, of course. We're going right. That's it. Keep going right. In my mind, there's another place for me. Hey! Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right again. You don't know where you're going, do you? Yeah, no, just go right, 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 right. <laughs> just keep going round. I can see what you're doing, you know. Which way? <laughs> right! <laughs> Now, controversial American talk show host Jerry Springer presides over outrageous studio discussion with plenty of surprises in store. The Jerry Springer Show. Welcome to the show. Today we're talking with women in the sex industry who say their jobs are threatening to ruin their relationships. Mm. And what an appropriate response. Okay, I'd like you to meet I'd like you to meet Mila. Mila's about to reveal a secret to her lover. Uh, Mila, what is that secret? Um, I'm an exotic dancer and we see very, very attractive people in and out of our business all the time from everywhere and sometimes it's very hard to stay faithful. How long <laughs> So you're saying basically you have not been faithful to your lover? No. How long have you been with your lover? For two years. Two years. <laughs> and your lover thinks your lover thinks it's a monogamous relationship. Very much so. Very much so. Oh. Are you worried about the reaction once you uh, tell your lover that there's somebody else? Yes, because it's also somebody that we both know. And <laughs> Here's your lover. Another traditional couple. <laughs> yeah. How long have you two been together? A couple years. How would you describe the relationship? Uh, and your name is Melissa? Yeah. L Melissa, how would you describe the relationship? I think we have a really good relationship. You know, we're very loving, you know, very, uh, we don't, you know, we get along great. You know, we're best friends. We're, you know, everything. Uh, you know you're here because she wants to talk to you about the relationship, so I'll step out of it. And you go ahead, Mila. Okay. You know that I love you and you're a very important person to me and you have been for so long and I don't want to hurt you but I've been seeing somebody for the last couple months. <laughs> Who? Why? It's somebody that we both know. <laughs> Who? Why not the why question first? Why, before we bring out the person, why would... Am I, yeah, I mean... 
What is it? I just don't think that I can stay committed because I'm in a very transitional period of my life, and I think that you know that. And I just don't think that I, I would like to have a really open relationship with you, not so committed. Why? I mean, um, am I, you know, am I too possessive no. or something? Oh, or? You're wonderful. You're wonderful. And this is why I brought you here to tell you this. Let's, the, this other person is one that you both know. Yeah. Well, let's meet that person then. Why, um, and your name is Jesse? Yes. Uh, you all work in the same place? Yeah. If you know those two are together, why would you interfere? Because I don't care. <laughs> uh, Melissa, what do you want to say? I'll stay out of it. Wait, Jess doesn't, she doesn't care because these two just don't get along that well. And we, I've wanted many times to to talk to Melissa and to see if, because we're open, very, very open sexually in many ways, and I've wanted to ask her if she'd be open to other things as well, but these two don't get along. So what are you saying? You want to have a threesome with her or something? <laughs> I'm just supposed to forgive it and just, you know, Oh, yeah? Jump in the sack? <laughs> now, this is why I brought you on here, is to tell you this. And not so much Jesse, so, so just the whole entire... I, I can't be in this. I don't even know if I want women. You what? <laughs> wow. Okay, so you're with me, cheating on her, and you don't know if you want women? Or cheating on... <laughs> with Melissa, what do you want to say to Jesse? What is there to say? I mean, she's, she's always doing everything I do, you know? Why not do the girl I do? <laughs> if, if you were taking care of her like a real woman should, I wouldn't have to satisfy her. There's no problem in our relationship. Obviously, there's something wrong because she's coming to my house when you're not there. <laughs> So, you two, you just don't want to have one serious relationship is what you're saying? Yes. Okay. Now, my next guest says he's been hiding a shocking secret from his brother. Please welcome Shannon, or Samantha, as he likes to be called. Shannon, <laughs> uh, your birth name is Shannon, uh -huh. and you now, you go by the name Samantha. Yes, I do. Um, how long have you been doing this, dressing as a woman? Um, for about three and a half years now. 